welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. An NL West matchup on the show. It's the San Diego Padres going up against the Colorado Rockies. Joined by my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. So the Colorado Rockies come into game four of this series with a chance to sweep. That's something that's not easy to do at this level against any opponent, Chris. Well, you know these guys are feeling really good showing up to the ballpark today. Warm-ups, batting practice, everyone's smiling, bouncing around, and they don't want to change anything that's helped get them the wins in the first three games. A big opportunity today, and they'll try to keep those positive vibes going. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about to get underway. And starting in this one, Cal Quantrill. What do we need to know here about the right-hander? He's got that splitter, and it's a pitch that swings and misses, calm fast, and they come often. Very difficult to pick up out of his hand. Okay, all set to go. Stepping in for San Diego, ha Sung Kim. ha Sung Kim. The wind of the pitch. Clips the corner, and away we go this afternoon. That yeah. clips the zone. That is strike two. That's a little bit low. And two now. And another ball. Two, two, it's down. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Bryant makes the grab, one down. Let's take a look at the lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent and you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. That one to first, Brian. He takes it on his own. Nice, efficient start to the afternoon. That's two out. The first base, Manny Machado. Two outs, base is empty. And now the first baseman, Manny Machado. That one oh, misses wow. one and oh. Two out space is empty. And that one sliced foul. He's mixing his pitches really well late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. Let's see if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. The line to kick the pitch. Three. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Three up, three down for San Diego. And now the Rockies will go on offense for the first time. There's no score. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. It's coming back. Back here at Coors Field, and on the hill in this one, you Darvish. Well, Boog, almost 2,000 strikeouts in his career, and such a great milestone for him to reach. I think this guy's got a lot more in him. Maybe we'll see 3,000 at some point. We go to the bottom of the first. Now a chance for Charlie Blackman. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Out there to center, Azokar under it, and out number one on the grab. 
time to check out the Rockies lineup. At the bottom of the lineup, a guy trying to turn things around, Brenton Doyle. Yeah, he's struggling a little bit right now. I mean, he knows it, his team knows it, everybody in the stands knows it, but they need him to turn it around. You know, I'm told he's putting in some extra work in the cages, as he should be doing, so we'll see if he can break out right here. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. Darvish, a former All-Star. He features a sinker, a slurve, a slider, a four-seamer, and he occasionally uses a curve. Profar calls it in, two away. Batting third. Now here's Nolan Jones. This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. There's a swing and a drive. That's a fair ball, and it's getting into the corner. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Well, his hot hitting continues. He's been getting great results lately. Nice line drive with the full side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. Four hits and 11 tries so far in the series. And there's a foul ball. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. Gets to it with a slide. Fires to first, and that's a great play for the out. Rocky strand one, scoreless after one. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Padres, Xander Bogarts. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. There's a strike. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Headed down the line. And that's a foul ball. And down on strikes he goes. And quickly won away in the second. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer for Uncle Charlie. And you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Now the catcher up to hit, Luis Campusano. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still nope, hoping he'll turn it around soon. Righty delivers. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. No score here in the second. Next hey. offering is in for a strike. Three. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Out number two. To a strong start, Ziggy, as he's punched out three of the first five he's faced. Well, he's definitely minimizing contact. He can get the swing and miss when he needs it, but he'll also keep the defense fresh behind him, allowing some balls in play as well. Jerks and Profar at the plate now. That's ball one. Profar gets a piece there.
And That's another ball. ball. Two balls, two strikes. That two one balls, misses. And that's ball three. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. To third, McMahon. Throws across the diamond, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Three up, three down for him there. Down to the bottom of the second. No score. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the inning. And the batter down, Ryan McMahon. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. Well, here's an interesting stat on Darvish. He has more than 100 wins in his big league career. The only Japanese-born pitcher with more wins is Hideo Nomo, a former teammate. That's a laser base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. And his hitting streak continues. There have been almost no bad days for him in the past month. This guy's running hot, Boog, and people around the league are paying serious attention to this streak now, especially the pitchers that are trying to slow him down. Ezekiel Tovar digs in now. And they're at the knees. Strike one. New arm out of the bullpen, Jairo Iriarte. On at first, nobody out. Down the left field line, should be extra bases. Lead runner around second. Throw comes in, runner stop, second and third, nobody out. And that's a double. It's Elias Diaz. Golden opportunity right here. Hey. There's a strike. Oh, and one. The Rockies with a chance to score first here in the finale of this four game set. Ground ball left side. Runner at first. And now the right fielder. That one fouled off. Nobody out. Runner at first. That's hard hit on the line. And that should be extra bases. Diaz around second, headed for third. Throw comes in, runner stop, second and third, nobody out. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. Just a solid swing right there. Caught out line, ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. So in now for Colorado, Brenton Doyle, with just one hit in nine at bats so far in this series. Swings through that one out in front that time. All one's the count. Hey. 
Pitch in the zone. Call the strike. Okay. And the count is 0-2. Eric Summersgill with home plate duty in this one. Kind of known for being generous with the corners, Chris. You know, I think that used to be a lot bigger deal in past eras where pitchers were working more in and out with their pitches. But, yeah, we'll see if those corners come into play in this one. Hey, no one pitcher's going to argue about it. Where will you see a pitcher just waste a pitch like that? The batter wasn't even tempted to sway. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Slings it across. That's out number one. And a run comes in to score. So the Rockies lineup turns over. Here's Charlie Blackman. He's 0 for 1. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. Going ah. on. Double-barreled action oh, one. in the bullpen. Steven Wilson, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Kolek getting loose as well. On the ground at first, and it goes just foul. Already three runs across in the frame, bottom half of inning number two. Swing and a miss and a changeup in the dirt. Up with it, fires the first, and there's two gone following the strikeout. The batter, number seven. Secretary now here is Brendan Rogers. Fly to left his first time. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. Oh one's the count. Two outs and one in scoring position. Hater deals. One ball, two strike. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. We play two full. It's the Rockies three, and the Padres nothing. And we're back. We New inning getting, getting started. So here's the Padres DH to Capita Marcano. Marcano. The pitch. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Diaz drifts towards it. Reaches over the wall. And he's got it. <laughs> It's Tirso Ornelas. I'm liking what I've seen from him at the dish lately. Hits in each of the last six Whoa. games. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ornelas goes six feet, three inches in the eighth spot in today's lineup. And he's a native of Mexico. Ball and that two. one missing low. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And that's ball three. Quattro back to work. And clips a corner. No, he's really working that inside corner with the cutter. I tell you what, I hated that pitch. So tough to get the barrel to and to keep it fair. The Padres trailing by three. We're here in the top half of inning number three. In the air right field. Brings it in. Two away. Batting up. The third base is number five. Eggy Rosario. The next up for the Padres. Okay, 
Here's a rocket out to left. Blackman hauls it into in the inning. Padres down in order. They trail it here, three nothing. Back here in Denver, to ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Colorado's DH, Nolan Jones. The pitch. Headed towards the corner. Settles under this one. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Now that the first thing. Here's Chris Bryant now. Rounded out his first time. Oh, yeah. Hard ground ball base nine. So a man aboard now with one away. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. Hard on the ground to first. To second, there's one. Back to first, double play. And that's it for the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. On to inning number four. It's the Rockies three, and the Padres nothing. Back here at Coors Field, John Chambi with Chris Singleton, and set to lead off the fourth, ha Sung Kim. Quantrill back to work. Foul ball. You know, these Padres, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Quantrill back to work. Not close with that one, and the count is one and two. Next pitch misses, and it's two and two. To the right side, Rogers fires over to first. Lead off hitter retired in the fourth. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Jose, Jose Azokar, the next up for the Padres. First pitch just misses. Just missed. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. One down, base is empty. That That's misses the zone, and now three and one. This one in the air right field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Around first, digging for two. The throw into second. Not going to get him. He's in there. Up next, the first base Man, One down. Manny Machado, the next up for the Padres. His first at bat was a strikeout. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something Ball, being hit right. to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on Ball, that base hit. Just missed. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Man at second. Fouls one off. Two and two. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. 
at the belt and fires. That Three. one not close. And the count's full. String of the changeup. Well, he hadn't seen that changeup the entire bat until that fadeaway pitch. And it's pretty tough to deal with as a hitter. You're up there battling, trying to read and react with two strikes, and then all of a sudden, the pitch comes out of nowhere, and it's a good changeup. It's just almost impossible to hit it when you haven't seen it. And here comes Sander Bogarts. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Breaking ball in there for a strike. through that one it's a strikeout Padres leave one they trail in this one three nothing bottom four so in now for Colorado Ezekiel Tovar and a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Right handed reliever. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. No ball, two strikes. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, he didn't want to go after him with the fastball at all and that at bat. Nothing but all speed stuff. Even with all the changes oh, yeah, coming, yeah. somehow he was still yeah. early on the swing. So I think he had to be thinking it was only a matter of time until he saw some heat. Diaz now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Oh, and he hit him. Well, that pitch right there didn't even snip the zone. He was all on the back on that delivery. Now it's the right fielder. And that is cut on and missed. Strike one. Grounder might be two. Quickly to second for one. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Rockies three and the Padres nothing. We go to the top of the fifth. So digging in now for San Diego, Luis Campusano. The pitch. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. one. You know, these Padres just aren't putting together very many good at bats yeah. in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They've got players in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Oh, no, there's a three pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Now batting Jerickson Profar. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. The Padres trailing by three, and we're at the top of the fifth. Gets a piece, and it stays 0 and 2. And the righty deals. And that's outside. outside. That's now one and two. Overrated. 
Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. One, two now. This ball's chopped on the ground. Tosses to first. And the first two set down to the top of the field. Two outs, bases empty. And next is the designated hitter, Tucapita Marcano. He popped out his first time. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. He's been very consistent with his command out there on the mound, consistently throwing at the knees. The Pretty ball. impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. One one now. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. And Two another ball. Two and that one almost hit him. Good plate oh. appearance there. Able to take the walk. Trying to work his way back into the count right there. Oh, but it's so much for that. Pretty good pitch, but uh, just doesn't get the call on 3 0. So, man aboard. Next for the Padres, Tierso or Nalis. Close one. Doesn't get the call. And that's ball one. There's a strike. Marcano off of first with two away. And now the count one and two after the one swing ball, and the miss. Two strike. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. One left for San Diego, still down three nothing. back to the ballpark we head to the bottom of the fifth here's the center fielder Brenton Doyle and here it comes and That's the first the pitch misses for ball one all these Rockies doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game and the numbers back that up the numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning and they've only struck out twice so they keep finding ways to put their bat on the ball righty to the plate and now one and two. One ball, two strikes. And they'll do it again. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. To the right side. And that's oh. the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Up next to Colorado, the left fielder, Charlie. Now is Charlie Blackman. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. One down, base is empty. And now it's even up. Swings through that one for strike two. One ball, two strike. Here's a one two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Three. Got him swinging. No bad. Brendan Rogers digging in for the Rockies. Pitch misses there, and it's one to know. Swing and a bouncer. Tosses to first. What a play. Inning over. Nothing doing for the Rockies, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. And 
And we're back. We and the batter we now, Eggy Rosario. Number five. Eggie. Rosario, 24 Rosario. years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. And he deals. That clips the corner. Swing and a miss. He can look up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Pitch misses, and that is ball one. Chases the changeup in the dirt. Diaz on the first. Got him. One away on the strikeout. Beat him inside on that last pitch, and when you look back at the pitch sequence on that strikeout, it's pretty interesting. Away, in, away, and then back in again. Really commanded both sides of the plate right there, and that makes it pretty tough to get comfortable in the box. So up next, ha -sung Kim. Ground ball up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Dominant performance for him today. Just two hits allowed so far. No runs across either. And he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. Now the number two hitter, Jose Azokar, one for two. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. And it's Whoa, one and man. one. Hit on the ground might be two. Brian over to second. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. It's the Rockies three and the Padres nothing. Back down for the bottom of the sixth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Tom Cosgrove. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Nolan Jones digging in for the Rockies. Here comes a pitch. That's towards center. Azokar sizes this one up. Hauls it in for the out. Really nice job to get your first out of the ball game. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Chris Bryant. Swings and misses. And that's strike one. one's the count. Offering his foul back. In the air out to center, ranging back. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. The bat. The, bat. the third base. Ryan. Two outs, base is empty McMahon. at the play. Ryan McMahon. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. On the ground to the left. Oh, a great grab on the dive. The throw, it's there, and that's a great play. Well, that's cat-like <laughs> reflexes over there at the hot corner. Nice job of making that play and ending the inning. Back here in Denver, here's Manny Machado to start it off. The Padres in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Now time is called here. Pitching coach on his way out to the mound. 
Righty reliever out of the pen, John Curtis. And if you dig into his walk rate, his numbers are really impressive. He's really filled up the strike zone this season, so these batters better be ready to swing the bats. And the pitch. In the air to left center. It gets down, a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. And it's a leadoff double to start the seventh. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. It's Xander Bogarts now. Struck out on just three pitches last time. Yeah, there's a ball. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Runner in scoring position. Nobody out. Here at the top half of inning number seven. On the ground to third. Whips it across. That's the first out at the top of the seven. Now, now, now. Luis Campusano, the next to hit, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. He's got it, and there's two away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Jerkson Profar, the next up for the Padres. Gets the slider in there for a strike. Runner at second, two down. Here in the finale of this four-game set. That one's in there, and the count is 0-2. And, and a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Ball one there. Hit on the ground to the right side. And foul ball. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy in the fastball. That misses the zone. Two and two. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at bat like that one. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Rockies three and the Padres nothing. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Steven Wilson. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Give me your thing you got. So in now for Colorado, Ezekiel Tovar. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. The shortstop takes the ball. Get a miss as he was out front. One and one. Out to center. Azokar under it. Puts it away for the out. The catcher, number 35. Oh, yeah. So digging in, Diaz. Elias Diaz. Fly ball to right. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Now, 
the right fielder. And now the right fielder. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Here the bottom of the seven. Comes up empty. That's strike two. No Bullpen strike. action for the Padres. Robert Suarez appears to be getting loose. a piece there we'll do it again foul ball it stays nothing in two well he hasn't gotten the result yet but it's got to feel pretty confident three foul balls in a row he's right on this guy knocks that one away and we'll do it again Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. Capusano collects, oh, fires to first. He is safe, and he beats the throw by a whisker. So he's able to reach first base despite the strikeout, and that extends the inning. Kind of a tough turn of events for the defense there. Yeah, that's maybe a little bit of a morale killer. For a second, you think you're about to go hit, but really quickly you have to refocus and be ready for the next play. We'll see if they can work around it. And here is Brenton Doyle. Puts a bunt down. Bogarts over to first. That's the inning. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and one left. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Rockies three and the Padres nothing. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Henesis Cabrera. He's been so good against lefties. Now it's the DH, Tucapita Marcano. Tucapita Marcano. And a pitch. Up and in, ball one. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. And now the lefty. Cut on and missed 96 of that fastball. One ball. Uh, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Pitch in the dirt, two balls, two strikes. That one to first, and he takes it himself for the out. Now that one, the right field. Tierso Ornelas now at the plate. Right through there for a strike. And that's down and away. The 1 1. That's a strike across the top of the zone. And a ball evens the count. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Kicks and deals. Aye. He goes down looking. Frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter. And I'm sure that's going to sit on for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things. And I think that was the case right there. Rosario in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Now this manager knows that his players are just trying to do too much. Everybody needs to just take a deep breath, relax, and let it naturally happen. Nope, he held back. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. The Padres trailing by three, and we're at the top of the eighth. 
in there at the knees for a strike. on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Wandy Peralta. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. So the batting order turns over. Here's Chuck Nasty. Looks like a pinch hitter for the Rockies. Sean Bouchard. pitch and a foul ball Go Colorado. a one down swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play foul ball still 0 and 2. Kicks and fires. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. And the 0-2. This to third. Oh, the throw is over his head. But a great backup there, and no one will move up. No matter. Number seven. Just kind of set that throw and pulled it across his body towards the right field side of first base, and usually that means the fielder just didn't square up his shoulders to the target, and I think that throw had just as much to do with his footwork as anything else. So up next, Brendan Rodgers. Foul ball there. The 0 1. Well, straighten him up a little bit. Out towards right center field, Ornelas in position. One down. Now batting. The designated hitter. Nolan. And now the DH, Nolan Jones. One for three. Up the middle, dive, and he's got it. Throws from the ground over to Kim. One no, to safe. first, not in time. Great effort there. And at first, here's the Rockies' cleanup hitter, Chris Bryant. up foul territory behind the play and that is that so one left for Colorado but they lead it three nothing staying in the game on defense Sean Bouchard he'll be the new left fielder after entering the game as a pinch hitter So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Justin Lawrence. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. So the lineup flips over. Up now the Padre leadoff, man. Hassan Kim. And the pitch. There's a strike, 95 of that one. Lawrence, a righty that throws with power. 
He features a sinker, a slur, and he works in a four-seamer. Next nope, offering upstairs. Good oh, eye right there. The pitch. And a foul ball. On the ground, right side. And he handles it himself for the out. The center field, number 28. Jose, Jose Azokar, the next up for the Padres. That's in there. That's strike one. Well, don't expect one. too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, ball. and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look right. for him to stay down around the knees to be effective. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. One out, base is empty. And now That's the count two. is even. Two balls, two strikes. Wouldn't chase that two. time. And it's ball all four. four. He Thank missed you. down low. They're not ready to go home quite yet. The bat. The bat. The first base Here's first. Manny Machado Manny. now. Machado. Bounce to the left no, side. Foul. And that's just foul. Azokar stands at first with one out. Close, but call the ball. And that's ball one. If you're in the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. At the belt and fires. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. Not sure exactly what he was thinking there. Good sinker ball pitcher goes with the fastball in a double play situation when he needs something on the ground. And a pitch. Hangs and misses. It's a strikeout. And well, there's another strikeout, and those are just continuing to pile off. His confidence level has got to be dropping. He's got to find a way to make an adjustment, Boot, get back on track. His team needs it. And first offering is fouled off. Right through there for a strike. Oh, okay. The Padres down to their final one strike. Ball. That one way outside. Now one and two. Oh. And another ball. Two, two, the count. Way inside. Pressure mountain right here with the tying run in the on deck circle. He's got to find the strike zone. The pitch. Now fly ball to right center. On the move. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Rockies finish off the four game sweep. But with the sixth win in a row, all of a sudden, you start to look around, up and down the lineup, to your left, to your right as a player, and you say, you know what, we're good. Uh, we may have had some tough times earlier on, but this is a good team, and you start to expect this kind of play out of yourselves. We'll see if this translates into a longer winning streak than it is right now. A shutout in this one, 3 nothing. our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. She know, she know that. She know, she know. I've been on my door since the morning. She know that. She know, she know. I've been on my door since the morning. She know that. She know. They 
said the paper, I get hot, turn you to ashes. Only thing is, I don't remember me asking. Fill up my bag of chips and I ain't sharing a fraction. I'm down for whatever, knowing about that action. He asked me for.